Hey guys, it's Savannah. Um, I'm going to make a video on how to make your own coontails. I actually have this one. My hair is like curly right here. You can kind of see it. I have one on this side too, but it's not as easy to see. My hair is like a little messy right now. But I'm going to teach you guys how to do them without actually bleaching or dyeing or whatever to your hair. you guys are going to be able to see this. Okay. So I have a piece of paper and I clipped a hair extension to it. You can pick any color you want. Um, I already did one, but um, I'm going to explain to you how to. I have three different, actually I have four different markers. Um, I have a big chisel one that's like blue, a black one that's kind of like pointed, a little one for mistakes, and this is actually an eyeliner marker but it's chiseled, as you can see, so it might be easier to use, but this is really easy to get off, so um, this is something that you can use if uh, you're just going to do it for a day and then wash it out. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing this if you're going to wear it like on like a hot day, because if you sweat and that thing, and if your hair gets you sweat, it'll probably bleed onto you or your hair, but it's easy to clean up, like I said. Okay, so usually you would use duct tape to section off, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go for it. As you can see, I made that one pretty pretty thick. Um, at the when you're done, you can clean it up a little bit, and then you would go about the same exact length down and make another line. kind of see what I'm doing. It doesn't exactly have to be totally straight. It's not going to be as obvious when it's in your hair. <coughs> but what I've been doing is using bobby pins and like using that to make them straight. And then it might be easier if you like get a little bit smaller and then go like that for your next line. And then you just start coloring in. Um, I'm using a red hair extension because I don't have any, I have other colors, but if you just, if you use black all the way down and it match, or whatever color you use, do it so it matches your hair color. So that way it doesn't look so fake because like when it's in your hair it'll kind of look like you just well obviously you can't really tell right now but you, it'll look like you actually dyed your hair like a little bit this color for it um so that's why i'm trying to make it match my hair color so i'm using black um i'm gonna try and use the eyeliner marker to fill this in see what it looks like This is actually working really well. Definitely suggest using an eyeliner marker. Um, I've heard people who've used mascara for this. I've heard some other stories. But like I said, this stuff comes off really, really easily, so you gotta be careful. When you're done, you are gonna have to flip this over and do the other side if you want to. You can see that there's some spots that aren't done, but if it's in your hair, like, if it's in your hair, it, the other side isn't gonna be so noticeable. I'm just gonna, for example, just put this in somewhere. I'll do it over here, actually. Just to show you guys. Um, obviously, this isn't where I'd put it. But, like, it's not going to be... The other side isn't going to be noticeable. This isn't where I'd put it. It's not even a good spot. If I were somebody, I'd put it, like, underneath. And it would, like, show right there. But since I'm not done coontailing it, it just looks like I suck in a hair extension. So you definitely have to do that. 
I'm going to post a video response to this showing the finished product and how to wear it um, because the video is getting quite long now and I'll also just upload it to my regular in, to my channel and I'll just you know put the link in so that way you need to look for it then okay bye guys